All right, social media check-in. Let's do it. All right, the first one comes from Crystal Perry, a Brad Squad VIP member. How long does it take to change from the F3 to F1 category? And how long will it take in total if my priority date is before the cutoff date for F1 now? Uh, it takes literally as long as it as long as it takes to get a letter to the National Visa Center uh, showing you are divorced or your marriage is terminated or your spouse or your widow or whatever reason why you're single. So how long does it take a letter? Three days, four days? And if your priority date is current, you're eligible for your green card. They'll start processing you. Yes, presumably you're immediately eligible for your green card. Sherry Ben, a Brad Squad VIP member. I still haven't gotten an answer after my interview four months ago. What should I do? Wait. Sophia R. Gray, Brad Squad VIP member. I used to work in the U.S. I have a Social Security card, but I'm in Jamaica now. How can I use it and what can be done? You can't. There's the only thing you can use a social security card for from Jamaica is to collect social security, which you're not eligible for because you're not a U.S. citizen. Okay, Ankit Yadav on YouTube. How can I get a U.S. tourist visa from Canada? I'm currently a work visa uh, or on a work visa and have passed two 214B refusals. I do have a travel history of more than 20 countries, including the U.K. and Europe. You have to apply, there's no special, there's no special formula. Uh, if you get turned down for a tourist visa, you have to show ties to the country, not where you have a work visa, but ties to the country where you're originally from. Because if you have a work visa for Canada, that doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to return to Canada to your job. But certainly you need to show ties to your home country that you would return home to that home country. That's your problem because you're applying for, you don't have residence in Canada. It's your biggest problem. Get residence in Canada, you'll get the work, you'll get the visitor's visa for the United States. Tanisha Gray on Facebook, what does it mean when immigration writes no change of passport, um, no change of status in my passport? How can I go about changing it? Is it something that will follow me until my visa is expired? It, well, sometimes when you come into the airport, they write no ES, no change of status, no extension of status, no adjustment of status because the immigration officer thinks maybe that you have some other plans in mind other than what you came or said you were coming to do. Now, what they write in your passport is not, um, is not definitive, meaning that you could still file for an extension of status, change of status or adjustment of status, and it would be up to the immigration officer who reviews that particular application whether to grant it or not. Claire Hermit on Facebook, I misplaced my citizenship certificate. How can I receive another copy? Uh, you have to file an N565. Elizabeth Francis on Facebook, when I get an 18 month uh, extension, how long should I wait before contacting USCIS or should I wait until that, uh, until after the extension is complete or can I you can call, you can call USCIS whenever you want. She's talking about an I-751 uh, extension after she removes the conditions. You can call immigration whenever you want. There's no rule. Uh, but, you know, you calling is not going to make it come any faster. Makes you feel better by calling. It's not going to make it go any faster. Most people are taking over two years now. So after the 18-month extension is over, you would have to go down to the local immigration office to get a stamp in your passport to extend your status. And last one is Claudette Fisher on Facebook, what's the future like for LPR filing for kids? Good. Future's looking good for green card holders filing for kids. We like that. Thanks for watching. For more Brad Show Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.